This is to all the, the people who are sci-fi family members. How is sci-fi going to come back? Is she going to be hard? Is she going to be nice? Is she going to be mean? Is she going to be slated? Is she going to be herself like she was? What about new names for her? How about sister sci-fi? The real sexy sci-fi. I like that one. Sister sci-fi. I like that one the best though. Because uh, she was sexy sci-fi, and, and and people didn't want to differ. Didn't didn't want her to be an individual. It's like like she had a follower. She wasn't a follower. She was an individual. And, you know, people fail to realize that. So maybe she come with a new one. A new, you know. I don't know. Don't want to make it sound old. Sister sci-fi sounds old. I'm sorry. Maybe. I don't know. But however she returns, she has been gratefully missed. Her words are still there. But her voice has been on the down low lately but um we all understand the significance of this YouTube and we do all have to step back and reevaluate sometimes she is a great YouTuber and she should not have left for any reasons at all but now when she comes back will the people who used to watch her be ready for her what would you think what do you think her attitude's going to be after the complete disrespect she got last time? When you retool your stuff, when you when you make it new, when you do new things, you change. What will she change? She knows the significance of when you leave, you have to come back harder. Not harder in the sense of being ignified. I'm going to break Ebonics down to you one time, but not this time. So when you get stupefied, um, you know, disrespectified, how do you come back? I mean, it's like, you know, YouTube itself is a realm of emotion you feel what you say because you don't sit down and script it there are people who are scripted on YouTube and those people who want to come off as correct or uh, mistake free fine by all means get your shit on do your tube but the real please you catch me slipping you catch me slipping that's the bottom line. You know, in real life, it's not all peaches and cream, baby. And check out my new page. It's going to be up in a couple days. Matter of fact, it's going to be up probably sometime next week after my boss gets back from New York. So this page is Ghetto Gourmet. G-H-E-T-T-O-G-O-R-E-M-A-Y. Ghetto Gourmet. And I'm going to show you some of the classic broke man meals that uh, you have when you ain't got no money. I'm just going to show up, go in the kitchen, film it, let you see what I'm cooking, make it, cook it, eat it, bam. But remember this, I'm not Food Network. I can't break it down into, you know, nice, cool 10-minute segment and open the oven and the shit is cooked. So I'm going to actually literally cook it. I'm going to try to find things that I can cook in 15, 20 minutes or less and put them on Ghetto Gourmet. Hopefully, you'll see the funnier side in me. And, you know, plus I, I'm the bomb cooking, especially with nothing. But getting back to why I'm on this thing, sci-fi. You know, sci-fi is sci-fi. If she come back and she ain't the one she used to be, 
or have that same flair she used to be. She might just be like more. Cause you know, sci-fi, she be doing her damn research and shit. She might just be all anchor news driven. And that is sci-fi news and shut your ass down and that's it. Wow. She might not open up like she used to and tell you about how life is and how life was. She might not be that person no more. Because sometimes when you let people in close and then you get screwed around and disrespected and and talk to wrongfully and treat it bad, call all out your name. Sometimes you don't let that person return. Sometimes you have an attitude. Sometimes you will be completely not the person that once was. What's the problem, boy? Huh? What are you here? No. Is it drama? No. Stress? No. Strain? No. Bullshit? No. Pain? No. Is it necessary? Thought so. Come here. Here. What's your deal? What's what's the problem? Hmm? What's the problem? What's the no? You 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 are not getting on the table. You are tripping. What's the problem? Who did it? Hmm? You smell some haters outside, huh? You smell some haters. You smell the haters waiting for Sci-Fi to come back to hate on her again, huh? Oh no, talking now. It's a message for all the haters out there who are waiting for Sci-Fi to come back. So you can jump on her new name and try to link her to her old name. She can come back as sexy Sci-Fi if she wants to. She can come back as the real sexy Sci-Fi. She can come back as sister Sci-Fi. She can come back as the woman formerly known as sexy Sci-Fi. She can come back in any name that she wants to. But remember this, people are not on YouTube to be bullied, picked on. They're only on YouTube to express whatever they want to express at that time. Now, about the YouTube drama, it is completely unnecessary and unwanted by anybody. An opinion is just an opinion. Everyone has an opinion. Now, if people were dragged out of their homes and shot over their opinion, how many opinions have you made? How many opinions have you made that would have gotten you shot too? Hmm. That depends on the interpretation. So maybe some of you fools out there who like to play the hate game, the name game, and calling people names, making fun of people, maybe you folks need to understand the significance of all that you have done. You left a trail of typed in hate all the way back to your IP address. Threats go all the way back to your IP address. Someone just recently tells me the internet is going to throw itself back. What I mean by throwback? When AOL first started, they tried to charge us by the minute. The internet now is a grossing medium. Huge. A lot of people use it. And now they want to start charging us by the minute. How you going to feel when you can't afford to type long enough to say some bad things about SciFly. Good luck, little sister. I will see you when you return. Oh, the busters have been tubed. 